Hello there, crafters. Today, we are looking at Luke chapter 24, where Jesus appeared to the disciples and basically revealed who he was. So they understood that he was the Messiah who had come to save them, the answer to everything that they needed, even though they hadn't quite fully realized that before. So we're going to make two crafts today that are sort of revealing, that show us a bigger picture. Now, I will also say one other craft that we're not going to demonstrate today is making a puzzle. And the only reason we're not doing that one today is because we've done it for several crafts already. But it's also a great illustration of this point. Anyways, on to the ones that we are doing today. The first one we're going to make is a step-by-step -step picture. So we're going to kind of make a long picture that is revealed as you go. So we're going to start off with some paper. And I'm going to, I have a variety of colors here, just for our demonstration purposes, but we're going to use this paper and I'm going to cut mine in half. You can use multiple pages if you want to make this really long or you can cut it into more pieces that you can then glue or tape together. But for the sake of time, we're just going to do one piece here and I'm going to cut that in half. And now I'm going to glue or tape that together this way. So I'm going to use tape just to make sure that it sticks and I don't have to wait for it to dry. And now I'm going to fold this paper into sections. We're going to be making one big long picture that you see going this way or it could be going this way as well but that you only see a little bit of at a time. Hopefully it'll make sense momentarily. So I'm going to kind of fold it sort of accordion style and go back and forth. So I have four parts of this bigger picture, but you're only going to see a little part of this at a time. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. If not, don't worry, it will. So now I'm going to be drawing one part of the picture at a time. Now this is also a fun activity to make like a crazy monster creature and you have different kids take turns drawing a part of it at a time, but that's not quite what we're doing here. Now the picture I'm going to draw is a tree but we're only going to see a little bit of the tree at a time. So I'm going to start here with the roots. So I actually am going to use crayon because I can't find my brown marker. So I'm going to start off with the roots of the tree that are kind of coming down. And of course, if we just see this part of the picture, looks a little bit crazy. But then I'm going to flip it this way and now I'm going to have a little bit of grass and part of the base of the tree. So still if you were just to look at this little bit of grass and part of the tree we might not fully understand what is happening. So then we're going to come to this next part and we're going to continue that tree base. Maybe we're going to put like a little hole here, like, you know, you'd have an owl or something. And we're going to start to kind of make the top of the tree. And then up here at the top, we're going to have the rest of the tree. So whatever kind of leaves or branches you have. And then we're going to attach a caption of some sort so we understand what in the world is going on here. So over here I'm going to cut another part of paper 
for my caption. And here I'm just going to say something like Jesus is the answer. God reveals the big picture. And then, of course, we can reference Luke chapter 24, the part that we're looking at here. So, what you see here is we see a little bit of a time where if we only look at just a small part, we don't quite understand what's happening. But you have to see the whole thing to know what's going on in the picture. Just like sometimes we have to look at our whole lives as a big picture, or we have to look at the whole Bible and see that Jesus is the big picture answer. So that's the revealing artwork picture, craft number one. Craft number two, this is always a fun one. We're going to make a revealing watercolor. So we're gonna start this one with white paper and we're going to draw on the white paper with white crayon. Or you can use yellow as well, it doesn't necessarily have to be white, but the white part kind of makes it look like cool and almost magical because this is how you get that reveal component of things. So we're going to start with our white crayon and press nice and hard to make your pictures something that really will stand out. So I'm just going to do a couple of very simple things. I'm going to do a heart and I'm going to do a cross over here and I'm going to do a happy face over here. Of course, at the moment, you can't really see what I'm drawing, but this is the cool part. So now, I'm going to go over here and take my handy dandy watercolors and I'm going to use my handy dandy water to show off what's going on here. So once I get my watercolors going, do, 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 do. now when I paint over these things, the picture is revealed. So of course, it almost is like, ooh, secret ink or magic art or whatever, because the more I color, or the more I paint rather, the more I can see what I couldn't before. So it's revealed and we can talk about how it's revealed when we have these other colors surrounding it, just like Jesus revealed himself to his disciples. So we have this fun revealing work. Here's my little happy face. And, and again, this is fun to let the kids get into. Um, it will show up even, like I said, you could do yellow or, or a light color and then go over it with watercolors. It'll still, it'll still show up. It's just the white crayon is fun because then it really feels like you're revealing something that was previously hidden. And of course, it's not that God hides himself from us, but sometimes we don't understand or sometimes the disciples didn't fully understand what was going on or what God was doing. And Jesus made it all come to life, just like the watercolors make more sense to our wonderful pictures here. So find where my cross was. There we go. Um, so this is a fun one that really any age can do. And then once I've got my pictures all revealed, I'm going to mix it up and have a couple of colors going on here. Once I've got them all revealed, you can type or write or add some sort of caption that explains what in the world is going on here. So I might say re 
revealed in God's time. Jesus helps me see something like that. And of course, again, this is a short time expedited process, but please feel free to make this more decorative and beautiful and artwork like, but just showing you the basics of how you can do that fun revealing watercolor art, revealing picture. And again, the puzzle is a fun one too. Draw a picture, cut it up into pieces, put it together again as a puzzle. Hopefully those are some things that will help you and encourage you as you make plans for your ministry wherever and with whomever that might be. Join us again every week. We have new ideas for crafts and messages. Now, go make some crafts, make some disciples. Have a wonderful week and we will see you next time.